All right, boom. Ladies and gentlemen, we're back with another YouTube video and today we're in an actually professional environment. So today we're in our flagship office at House & House in Golden Diamond Park. So now you actually know that I am a legitimate real estate agent and I'm not just sitting at home with my whiteboard on my couch in my t-shirt and shorts. So yeah, today we're gonna run through the top five areas to invest in Dubai in 2024 for off plan. So obviously, there still are great opportunities to invest in established communities and maybe do some renovation jobs in areas like downtown, the marina, or the Palm Jumeirah. But today, we're just specifically speaking about off-plan projects. So these will be brand new buildings that are going to be launched and released, constructed in the next few years. So let's just jump right into the first one. This is gonna be jam-packed with information and let's go. The first area which we're going to speak about is Business Bay. So as you can see from this image, we got Burj Khalifa in the background there. Business Bay is this area which is just outside of downtown surrounding the canal. So if you come from maybe like any city in the world, in Europe or America, a lot of the times prime real estate will be based along a canal or a river which runs through the city. So that's why I think this place is going to be really, really, really important for Dubai and we're going to see great growth there. Well, you will actually see in a few minutes, we have actually already seen a lot of capital appreciation in this area, but there are still many, many more opportunities to come. There's a lot of empty plots you can even see on this picture. It's probably not up to date, but there's lots of plots like these still along this canal, which obviously in the next five to 10 years will be completely gone. So this is a great opportunity right now to invest in Business Bay. So here's just the map to explain the location a little bit. We got downtown Dubai, which is actually quite small on the map. This is where you have the Burj Khalifa. And then Business Bay is this entire area which surrounds the canal and is right next to downtown Dubai. So obviously with the proximity to downtown Dubai, this area is going to experience a lot of growth and a lot of people will want to live here if you're a professional and you're close to downtown, DIFC for working and also for tourists coming, it's the main place in Dubai. Like I said, we have actually seen great capital appreciation and growth of the real estate market in Business Bay to date. And here we have the property price change in Business Bay and the rental increases that we've seen. So yeah, to summarize, in 2022, we had an increase of 24% in the property prices in Business Bay, 35% in 2023, and 7% in 2020, 2024 so far. So yeah, as you can see, also rents are up 17% in one year in Business Bay. You can see from this great graph. So we're, we're gonna have all these graphs for all the locations. So I'll spend a little bit of time here explaining them. So for the next ones, you'll really understand them. So yeah. They're pretty straightforward. The, the property price is on price per square foot. And the rental figures are on price per square foot of rent. So yeah, um, I mean, it was 89 price per square foot in February 2023. And we're comparing it to February 2024, where we had what, 104 um, dirhams per square foot for the average rental contract in Business Bay. So this is absolutely outstanding growth, which we've seen from the bottom in 2021. Post COVID, there was a little bit of a dip, which you're going to see that trend pretty much across all of Dubai. And then after 2021, prices have just been skyrocketing. So we're seeing a little bit of a slowdown in 2024, which we at House & House actually think is a good sign of a maturing real estate market and not of any slowdown in terms of an economic sense. So if it was continually rising at 20 and 30% every single year for multiple years in a row, well then you might get concerned that you're in a maybe a little bit of a bubble and the economy isn't growing as quickly. So yeah, for 2024, we are actually expecting at house and house around an 8% capital appreciation of the average price per square foot across Dubai. So this is actually a conservative figure compared to previous years. But like I said, we think it's a sign of a maturing real estate market, which is great for long-term growth. So yeah, and rents are up um, across the board in every single area, but yeah, 17% in one year in Business Bay, great results. 
So this slide on each of the areas is just going to explain like why are you investing in each area. For Business Bay, I've pretty much explained it. It's on the canal, you've close proximity to downtown and everyone's going to want to live here. So whether you're getting people, young professionals, people who want to work in the city, DIFC, you're going to get these people who want to rent and buy here and obviously you're going to get tourism as well because you're in the center of the city. You're close to the Burj Khalifa and you're about a 10 minutes drive away from the coast as well. The second area, which I think is going to be very, very, very popular and experience great capital appreciation, long-term growth for off-plan is Maidan and MBR City. So MBR stands for Mohammed bin Rashid City. And yes, like you can see in the photo here, it's close proximity to downtown as well, a little bit further out from Business Bay. But yeah, about 10 to 15 minute drive from downtown. This is the area on Google Maps. As you can see, MVR City is kind of here. It's mainly all been developed with huge villas, um, District 1 villas. These are absolutely spectacular, probably the best villas in Dubai at the moment. And then there's a lot of development going on around these areas. So. You've got big developers like Shoba building their master communities, Shoba Heartlands 1 and Shoba Heartlands 2. Shoba is probably my favorite developer in terms of build and uh, construction quality. And yeah, there's just a lot going on here. And because of its proximity to downtown, that's why it's going to be a great investment. Here we can see how this area has performed over the past few years. So yeah, we've seen good growth, not as explosive as downtown. But yeah, 33% in 2021, decreased a little bit in 2022, then 28% in 2023, and 4% in 2024. Over the past year, rents are up 15%. So yeah, like we're seeing, we're seeing great growth, slows down, great growth, a little bit of a slowdown. And why is that? Why is it not as explosive as Business Bay? Well, that's probably because there's more capital appreciation to come in this area, because it's not as developed. So if we go to the next one, yeah. Maidan especially is a construction site. This is not an actual live photo, I don't think of the area, but yeah, the, the whole area is much less developed than business space. So if you have a longer time frame to invest, I really, really think this is a great community with the best developers in terms of build quality building here. And yeah, if you have that kind of 10 year horizon for investing, I really think this is going to be one of the best areas in Dubai. And why are you investing in this Maidan MBR area? So yeah, this up on top left is Shoba Heartlands 2, which I described. Um, is Shoba is one of my favorite developers, their master community. It's about a 15 minute drive from downtown. And funny enough, I, the thing I love about this community is the CEO of Shoba has put his palace there in the middle. What a G. So yeah, you have these surrounding in like a crescent style, these apartment buildings. You've got these, all these villas which have been sold out. There's a couple massive villas in here which have their own private beaches. They're probably for his friends. And then he's put himself in the middle with his giant palace. So you can imagine if you're buying in an apartment in one of these buildings, you can imagine if he's going to be living there, what's going to be the general infrastructure like for this entire area? And it's probably pretty good. So that's why I love this area. You have Maidan Mall, which is rumored to be the largest mall in Dubai, in the world. And yeah, that, that's coming to Maidan as well. You already have Maidan Racecourse, which is huge race course here built in Maidan, which I think is going to be great for tourism in the future. And yeah, these are just, these are the District 1 villas, which I mentioned earlier, which are already built and handed over. So you can just tell the quality in this area is absolutely fantastic. And yeah, it's a great area to invest for the long term. Third area is JVC, Jumeirah Village Circle. And yeah, this is actually the area which I live. So yeah, great area to invest. And yeah, let's see how it's, where, or where it is located. Firstly, this is JVC in relation to Palm Jumeirah. It's a little bit out. I'd say about 15 minute drive to the marina, which is here and pretty similar to Palm Jumeirah and then about 20 minutes to downtown. So JVC is 
uh, probably best to describe it as like a budget friendly zone for which attracts a lot of people, especially expats who are moving here and first time people who are moving to JVC. Um, as it's centrally located for you to travel to all the places in Dubai and it's cheap as well. So actually, JVC was the top performing area in 2023 in terms of sales volume. So the number of transactions, the most amount of people bought in JVC last year. So that's just a huge indicator that this area is very popular and going to be experiencing some growth. And yeah, we can see here on the property price change that JVC has experienced great growth over the past few years. 25% in 2021, a little bit of slight decrease in 2022, and then 24% 23, 18% in 2024. Rents are up 25% in one year, which is crazy. So yeah, a lot of growth going on JVC, the highest transacted area last year, and there's a lot more development going on. Um, so yeah, great area to invest in. Like I kind of explained earlier, why you're investing in JVC is it's affordable, you're attracting those people. Um, great for long term and short term. So one small caveat that people don't understand is, yeah, of course, people coming over here on vacation will like to stay near the beach. But if you're relocating to Dubai, it takes about two to three months to get your Emirates ID. And that it, only with your Emirates ID can you then sign up for a long-term lease in an apartment. So for two to three months, you're gonna be staying in an Airbnb or a booking.com apartment. So that's short-term. So great for those people just moving over who need one or two months as well. And then long-term rent as well, very, uh, because it's affordable. It's centrally located. You've got all these like nice little parks dotted around, running areas. There is a metro station coming to JVC later down the line, probably we expect around 2030. So yeah, JVC is an area which is pretty much fully developed. You've got Circle Mall there as well, which is a great mall. It's pretty much fully developed. So we're not expecting huge levels of capital appreciation um, over the short to mid term. Long term, when the metro station goes in, then we can expect cap like great capital appreciation. But we really think this is an area, if you're looking for high rental income and high rental yields, this is the area for you. And then, yeah, lastly, it's got McCafferty's, the best Irish pub in Dubai is in Circle Mall. Another great, great reason to invest in JVC. The fourth area is Dubai land. So I don't actually think this area is technically called Dubai land, but I've kind of just thrown it in there as a term. So this will be like the villa communities. Um, you'll see there's plenty of villa communities. This is Acres Miras, which is not built yet. We've got Shobra Reserve, and then Arabian Ranches, which has been built in Global Village, just there. So let's see on the map what I'm talking about. It's kind of this area. Probably pushed it a little bit too long. You've got Motor City, Studio City down here, which are kind of apartment communities. But yeah, we've got Acres coming up here, Arabian Ranches here. We've got Shoba Reserve, Al Barari is very popular in there. This is, if you can afford to buy a villa, this is the best investment opportunity in Dubai right now, without a shadow of a doubt. And let me explain why. Let's see the figures. So, like I said, yeah, we've got lots of up and coming villa communities coming in this area, but the two most established, um, longest standing villa communities in this area are Arabian Ranches and Damak Hills. So we can see price growth for both these areas is just fantastic over the past couple of years. In 2022, Arabian Ranches went up 25%, then 14%, 27%. Damak Hills was very, very similar. So 15% growth in 2022, 18%, 32%. Fantastic growth figures for capital appreciation in three years, shooting up. And then we can see rents are the exact same in one year. Arabian Ranches is up 18%. Damak Hills, exact same, up 18%. Huge demand for these villas. So yeah, why should you be buying into this Dubai land district and these villa communities which are popping up? Well, this absolutely fascinated me is that 
only 2% of handed over units in 2023 were villas. So I believe like 83% were apartments and then 12, 13-ish percent, whatever makes the maths work, were townhouses and then only 2% were standalone villas. So there's a huge undersupply of villas right now in Dubai. And considering the paradigm shift of families are actually moving here to Dubai, we don't have enough villas to house them all. So in the past, you know, we, we needed more apartments because people were only moving here for a year or two to make money and then they would move back home to their home country. But now, like I said, we are seeing a paradigm shift where families are relocating from, from Europe and elsewhere to Dubai and these guys need big villas, hugely undersupplied. That's why these areas are absolutely fantastic to invest in. So first one we have on the right there is yeah, the Acres by Miras. Miras, very well known developer, which have built kind of luxury um, areas such as Blue Waters, which has the Dubai Eye on it, and also built City Walk, which is close to downtown, very, very nice area, and then Shoba Reserve. Shoba Reserve, or Shoba, like I've said previously, are my favorite de developer because of their build quality. They are building this master community, which is absolutely fantastic as well. The fifth area, which is great to invest for off plan in 2024 is Expo City and in broader terms Dubai South. So yeah this is Expo City with Al Wasl Dome and yeah let's just get into the figures straight away for this area and I'll explain it a little bit more as we go along. So this is where Expo City is located a little bit further out you're probably thinking you know Dara Oh, the Burj Khalifa is all the way up there. Why would I be investing down here? It's what you're thinking. Um, you know, these villa communities were considered far out, and this one's even down here. Well, have a look at that big guy there, Pam Jebel Ali. What's coming down south? Is Dubai moving down south? Yes, it is. The government of Dubai wants to expand the Dubai population, and double it by 2024, and how they're going to do that is shifting it down towards Palm Jebel Ali, and down this way is towards Abu Dhabi. So it makes such strategic sense, if you are a long-term investor, to be buying down south, because this is the government's vision. Let's just look briefly at the price changes and rental figures in Dubai South. So admittedly, these can be a little bit misleading, because there's not a lot of properties down there, but there are communities such as Imar South, which are performing very, very well. Um, but yeah, like I said, just because the quantity is so small, the figures can be a little bit misleading, but still great area long term. So yeah, prices increased 32% in 2022, pretty much flatlined in 23, and then 82% increase in 2024. Rents are up 26% in one year, which is in line kind of with the rest of the areas. So yeah, why invest in Expo City, why invest down south? Well, like I said, there is a 2040 urban master plan, which the ruler of Dubai, Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum has published. And yes, they're trying to shift the country down south. So if we take a look over here, this fourth area, they've introduced a new urban economic zone, which is this, um, Dubai South. So here in the middle, we have a photo. That's just 2016. What did Expo look like? 2021, Expo now has a huge dome. There's huge infrastructure. This is the entire master plan of Expo. All this is built. All this is built. You have a metro station. You have the whole exhibition center. And you have a mall, which is there. 25 billion dirhams worth of infrastructure has been put in place in Expo City before the residents go in. Selling the apartments and the villas and townhouses is the last piece of the puzzle, which is backwards compared to everywhere else in the world, where cities are built first with residents in mind, and then they throw up shops, they throw up whatever, whatever they can squeeze in. So this city has been carefully designed and planned, and then residents are the last key. So absolutely very forward-thinking city based upon sustainability eco-friendliness um, yeah the mass standalone villas are absolutely incredible they look over this kind of 
uh, wadi, this natural reserve here. You can see there's no cars in the middle of the city, so it's all pedestrianized. Everything, you should be able to reach everything you need in about 15 minutes. And one of the huge indicators is Al Maktoum International Airport is actually going to be the largest airport in the world. It's going to be the largest one in Dubai. And yeah, Emirates Airlines are actually relocating their HQ to Expo. They will only be flying out of Al Maktoum International Airport, so which is down past Expo even, um, which is just benefiting Dubai South. So yeah, one of the best things about Expo City in particular is their post handover payment plan, 50-50 with a five year post handover payment plan. This is unheard of in the Dubai off plan market. And let me explain that if I went through it just too quickly. So 50% of the total purchase price will be paid in installments up until handover date. And then at handover date, usually with every single other project in Dubai, you'll have to pay the remaining amount. Well, with Expo, it's actually spread out over five years. So honestly, you're doubling your budget in Expo City. If you could only afford a four million apartment and, or, or a four million apartment somewhere else, well, here you have a five year post under payment plan. So you can afford an eight million apartment. Maybe not, but you, you get what I mean. Um, great, very attractive payment plan. And why can they offer this? Well, because the developer of Expo City is the government itself. So it's not like other developers, even you have Imar or Miras, which are semi-government, they're kind of government backed. This is just fully the government's plan to move the city down south. So they have unlimited money. They're hiring the best contractors. They will deliver on time, and yes, the infrastructure is incredible down south. There we have it, the end of the slideshow. So I hope you enjoyed this, and this was helpful in any way for you in identifying the best opportunities for off-plan investment in Dubai in 2024. So yes, hope you enjoyed the more professional video in this great setup. Hopefully we will do some more in here and doing deep dives into what are the best investment opportunities. If you have any suggestions on how I can make this content better, please let me know. And of course, if you are really interested in investing in the Dubai real estate market, please book a 30 minute Zoom call with me using my Calendly link in the description. Even if you don't want to invest for one, two or five years, I really want to build long-term relationships with my clients. So please book that call if you're just interested about Dubai real estate. Um, I, let me understand your investment strategy and let me see if there's anything here um, which will suit your investment goals and we'll go from there. So yes, please watch any of my other videos if you would like and thank you guys for watching.